I'm in the Tamapata Research Centre surrounded by spider monkeys but today our research on capuchin monkeys from living lynx has been published in scientific reports. Uh, the research basically involved throwing buckets of onions to capuchin monkeys and, and seeing what they did. What they do is, is rub these onions all over their bodies and it's called anointing and our research question was really why do they do it? Uh, it's an experiment we were running as part of our public engagement and we'd challenge the visitors to try and come up with an explanation. But the problem with that is they'd always challenge me back for the real answer. And you know, there wasn't a definitive answer in the research so far. Uh, so we designed an experiment that would try and give us one. So this behavior has been featured on quite a few documentaries. The explanation is usually given as self-medication. Uh, onions, limes, ants and millipedes, and many of the other smelly things they use have some reported medical action against lice and even uh, repelling mosquitoes. But because the monkeys do this in big groups, um, rubbing against each other, some scientists think that this is a social activity, a form of scent marking and social bonding. So how do you tease apart these two explanations and are both explanations possible at the same time? What we did was create two conditions, one with lots of onions and one with just one big onion half to share. If the monkeys were coming together just to get access to onions and rub onion juice of the bodies of other, other monkeys, then we'd expect them to go off and anoint by themselves when we give them lots of onions and every monkey can get their own one. But that doesn't happen. The more onions you give the group, the more they tend to come together to anoint. Even when they have their own onion, they still come looking for another monkey to anoint with. So that suggests a social function, right? Well, not necessarily. Uh, you see, grooming in monkeys is also said to have a social function. Um, but there was some great research by Rob Barton um, which showed that when monkeys groom socially um, they tend to focus on areas that are hard to reach themselves. So you can explain social grooming uh, completely functionally. They do it so that they can get better coverage all over their bodies um, and find all the lice and, and ticks and things that are bothering them. So could a similar thing be happening with anointing? What we did was film the, the monkeys while they were doing this and we recorded all the different places where they rubbed on their bodies. And what we found was that when they were anointing by themselves, they concentrated on areas where they couldn't see, because when you can see, you can groom there. If you can't see it, then you rub some onion and that has some medical action against the lice. But when they were with group mates, uh, socially anointing, they were concentrating on areas they can't even reach. Famously, monkeys can't reach between the, the shoulder blades like that, um, like the apes can. It's one of the, the differences between apes and monkeys. So it's possible that capuchin monkeys anoint like this in, in big groups, just to get better coverage over their whole bodies. The other thing that, that grooming together is going to do for you it's going to treat all your group mates and we all know that when kids get head lice at school you have to treat the whole class otherwise when the kids go back to school they get reinfected again so there's that benefit of, of treating um, the whole group at the same time as well so our research didn't rule out a social explanation of anointing but it was consistent with a, a functional explanation uh, you can explain social anointing purely as, as a group medication um, to get better coverage of, over the whole bodies. And we say this in the title of our paper, which is Mutual Medication in Capuchin Monkeys, Social Anointing Improves Coverage of Topically Applied Medicines. And it's in the journal Scientific Reports.